Hello again, so another video today. Um, we've got a little model here again. We're gonna demonstrate some stuff. So uh, we're gonna to talk today about how you can lose teeth. Not lose your teeth in terms of the teeth having to come out um, or if the teeth split, because we've talked about that before. I think the previous video we've spoken about it, um, about how somebody can split the tooth and lose it. Uh, we talked about decay and diet and things like that. And we've talked about gum disease and people losing their teeth with gum disease. There are three there's those ways you can lose your teeth, but there's a more, more kind of slower process of potentially causing problems and losing teeth if you're not careful. And um, we're going to talk about today. So there's three things that can happen to your teeth. There's one thing called um, tooth abrasion, one called tooth attrition, and tooth erosion. So abrasion, attrition, erosion. I'll go through what they are. So basically, if we go through <clears throat> attrition, it's when you are causing your teeth to wear down because of some kind of clenching or grinding when your teeth you know, are getting worn down because the top teeth are rubbing too, top teeth are rubbing harder than the bottom teeth. Um, or the teeth are just rubbing together hard. And this can be for reasons um, that are out of your control or reasons that you can fix. And the ones that are in control there are ways of fixing that. And I think we've talked about um, soft bite guards. So firstly, attrition, when you're rubbing your two surfaces away, you're rubbing them together. <clears throat> so that can happen for um, a couple of reasons. Firstly, uh, nighttime called nocturnal bruxism, nighttime grinding. Bruxism when you grind your teeth. And uh, at nighttime, some people do clench and grind their teeth naturally. So you may have someone who's uh, at night and they're making grinding noises. Um, you can hear them grinding, you know, um, the teeth. And some, we've had a couple of cases where, you know, people have said like the parents of a teenage patient we had said you know it keeps us awake the sound the noise it's like really loud snoring so when you're sleeping you don't have control over what you're doing you can talk in your sleep you can snore uh, people snore people talk in their sleep and and people do things like that you know and and people grind or clench your teeth if you're grinding your teeth forcefully you will wear them down and the forces you can generate when you're grinding your teeth are really high and what can happen with that is, in terms of uh, attrition, you can slowly, if it's a process slow process, you'll slowly wear down the two surfaces and you'll wear them down. And you can wear them down a lot. It can happen with the front teeth, happen with the back teeth. You don't want to be losing tooth through that. So that's the nocturnal bruxism. So the way to deal with that is commonly, a lot of time, it's something a habit you just do. Sometimes it can be stress related. So to talk about stress related issues, like, you know, uh, try and reduce stress, which is easier said than done. Um, you know, try and get into, a, a, you know, try and get to a situation when you're not damaged your teeth. So you're damaging your teeth so you can get the bite guard made. Um, what we may take a mold or your bottom teeth, you'll fit on the bottom teeth like a gum shield, soft squishy thing. And you grind into the soft squishy gum shield. It's called a soft bite guard. Uh, instead of grinding your teeth and damaging them, which can cause um, a, quite a lot of damage and harm. Um, and, or you can, if you don't want to pay that much, you could get um, a gum should soft squishy one from Sports Direct. So we talked about it in another video, so just check out my videos, you'll find it somewhere. Um, <clears throat> so that's one way. If you're clenching and grinding during the day, like when you're stressed, you grind it, you have it, you grind your teeth, or, you know, just don't do it. You try and stop doing it, try and avoid doing it because it's just going to damage your teeth. So some people, when they're lifting weights or they're stressed, they clench and grind their teeth. And you clench and grind your teeth, you are going to wear them. If you've got fillings in your teeth, you can break teeth of the teeth around your fillings. Uh, so we've got a filling in the tooth here and the side wall is a bit thin, a bit more, you know, a thinner, weaker. You can break, and you can even break teeth that, you know, that haven't had much done to them. So it can happen. So during the day, try and avoid it. Um, so that's attrition, when you're rubbing your teeth, you're too hard. So that's one way. So we talk about trying to avoid doing it during the day and 
bike guard to make at night or a soft squishy gum shield from something like sports draped or decathlon or somewhere like that or online you wear it on your bottom teeth and you wear it at night some people wear them some people can't so that's um uh, att uh, attrition abrasion is when you are just plain brushing too hard so if you're brushing too hard if this is a brush because i'm going to brush with me i'm going to actually she like brush with me but uh, it's when you're brushing too hard with your toothbrush and commonly it's because there's side to side brushing or you're using abrasive toothpaste or you're using a hard toothbrush my advice is use a medium toothbrush don't use a hard one it's not going to remove any more stain if you've got stain on your teeth it's going to come off with a normal brush you need a cleaning and a polish or you need and if you're smoking or drink a lot of black coffee and you know things like tea your teeth will stain they will naturally stain um, things like red wine, tea, coffee, black uh, um, black coffee in particular, smoking. Yeah, and just start generally cleaning well enough. You will get stain on your teeth, so you just need a cleaning. You need a clean, a professional cleaning, proper cleaning with a hygienist, a therapist, or a dentist. Simple, and that will fix it. By scrubbing too hard, you're not going to get away anything. The only thing you want to remove from your teeth when you brush well is a soft deposit, the yellow stuff, the plaque. So don't do a side to side. And I went through brushing, upward stroke. Um, and if you do side to side, do it firm pressure, but not too hard. You can bite, scroll the biting surface of the teeth hard, gum margin don't. What you're going to do with abrasion is when you start to get notches in your teeth, so you get worn down. You take away the enamel layer. The outer enamel layer of your teeth is very thin, and at the neck of the teeth where it curves in, it's, it's even thinner. So you brush away, you get these notches. And <clears throat> you're going to then get sensitivity. You're going to also get gum shrinkage, so the gums will shrink down. When the gums shrink down, the, the, surf, the root surface of your teeth don't have protective enamel layer. The protective enamel layer uh, prevents your teeth from being sensitive from hot to hot and cold. So you've got two issues. You're going to wear the teeth down with that enamel, and then you're going to cause gum shrinkage or gum recession, and it's going to make teeth sensitive. Also, you get this notching. You get these kind of notches where you've actually brushed your teeth away. If you do that too much, it happened to one person all my years doing this job many years have done this job a patient scrubbed his teeth so hard that he exposed the nerve nerve died off and he eventually had to have a tooth taken out and that's only one case but it's a risk it's going to cause sensitivity uh it's not going to be nice it's um for you you're not going to be able to get cold stuff or maybe hot stuff you'll have to start using sensodyne People say, oh, can't you fill these areas up? Well, you could, but if you think it's a notch like this on the side, the side profile is a notch in your tooth. It's a notch where you've been brushing too hard, right down near the gum. This is the gum here, this is the notch. If you fill it up, you're going to have to do some preparation, some kind of cleaning out and a bit of, like, you know, making the surface easy to get the filling, white filling there. What do you think is going to happen? If you brush the tooth away, which was a complete thing, a complete unit, and you brushed it and wore it down, you're gonna brush the filling away as well. We had one case of patient come in for me, see me many years. He had um, all of his, we well, he brushed you had all these uh, um, here, the cavities, round the back in particular, replaced with white fillings out of private practice. He said within a couple of months they'd all come out. And that's what happens, they come out. And if they come out, you paid for it, you've had it done, and because you prepare the tooth more, it's going to then maybe be more sensitive. So sensitivity, sensodyne. When you're brushing, do circles and then upward stroke for the bottom teeth and downward stroke for the top teeth. Don't do this mad like this, scrubbing like this. Firm pressure you can do, but don't scrub too hard. And it can lead to sensitivity. So that's another thing. So abrasion. And that's a harsh, harsh toothpaste. You're not going to remove staining unless you, if you use a harsh toothpaste, yeah, we're going to remove staining, but it's also going to remove your tooth surface. I think like the smoker's toothpaste, just stop smoking and have a professional clean in a, in, a, in, a, in a way that's not gonna cause damage with the dentist using a, a hard bristle rotating brush and um, uh, we call it trophy paste, polishing paste, and just get the stain off carefully. But if you're doing it all the time, things like smokers toothpaste, like liquid sandpaper, you're, scrub, you're, you're removing the staining because you're removing the tooth surface as well. So hard toothbrushes avoid, smokers kind of toothpaste, abrasive tooth, a hard toothbrush, abrasive toothpaste, avoid, just avoid them. And then the final way is erosion. <clears throat> erosion is when things like um, fizzy drinks, fruit juices, citrus fruits, eating citrus fruits, 
and fruit juices, apple juice, pineapple juice, orange juice, all that kind of stuff, fizzy drinks, I've got acid and fizzy drinks, why? I don't know. And then you have acid reflux, you tend to be sick a lot. If you have a problem with you make yourself sick, you need to get help. Because I had a patient many years ago, she basically had lovely teeth, all hygiene, clean and brilliant. Her teeth were just eaten away by the acid because she used to make herself sick. She destroyed her teeth. And when they get worn down so badly that there's so much tooth loss, you can't do anything about it. And then you're either looking at dentures or implants. If you have a problem, please get help. See your GP, get some help. You know, if you make yourself sick, you make yourself ill, get some help. You need to get try and get some help. Um, if you have acid reflux, again, your GP, they're brilliant. They can help you with that. Um, during pregnancy, <clears throat> um, ladies getting morning sickness, I feel for you guys, must be horrible. Must be absolutely horrible. Don't brush your teeth straight after. If you get, if you've been sick or acid reflux, oh, I'll brush my teeth. If you brush your teeth, you soften the tooth surface and you're scrubbing it away even more. So maybe just use a mouthwash, you can rinse your mouth out, use a mouthwash, good fluid mouthwash, speak to your dentist as well. Erosion. Fizzy dinks, fruit juices, being sick a lot, acid from the stomach, uh, certain medications, probably not, <clears throat> um, or acid reflux tend to be sick, you know, bring up acids from, you know, the stomach. Uh, try and get that fixed first, the cause and, cause and source of it needs to be fixed first. Um, then use uh, good quality toothpaste, maybe two brushings a day, maybe a third one with a bit of toothpaste, maybe get a good mouthwash, fluid mouthwash, or speak to your dentist because the dentist can prescribe you um, higher level fluoride, you can get a prescription. And then normally write a couple of tubes, they're fairly cost effective. You would brush with that and it would just high level fluoride just help to strengthen your teeth and to resist it. But the reason for it you want to get rid of, some people have a combination of Attrition, abrasion, erosion, that's a recipe for disaster. So try and resolve these issues. These are three other ways people can get tooth loss, loss of the tooth, and they can even extreme cases lose teeth, like I outlined. So just be aware of that. Again, it comes back to principles. Brushing, flossing, keeping sugary things to main meals and, and, and using good quality fluoride, and that will just help. You know, it'll help to strengthen your teeth, protect your teeth. If you need advice or help, speak to your doc, the, the dentist. Go to your dentist regular. Have regular checks, have regular cleans. That's where regular checks and cleans, I can check for these things and see if things are, and then you can get advice regarding it. Um, if there are major issues with tooth wear, tooth surface loss, you may be have to have to be referred to a specialist at maybe a dental hospital. We do at Manchester Dental Hospital refer, and they'll have to do some treatment. They can offer the treatment, but one thing, be aware, if there's anything you're doing, fizzy drinks, fruit juices, uh, uh, being sick a lot, all those kind of things. The other thing is uh, uh, wine, wine as well. Yeah, that can do it as well. Or alcoholic beverages that are acidic as well. That can cause um, abrasion, um, attrition, um, erosion as well. So that's another thing. Um, they can help you, but they will say clear, if you're not resolving the cause of the problem, they won't treat it because there's no point. If you're not resolving the cause, they can fix all your teeth or build them back up again with white fillings and stuff. It's not ideal, it's better to have your own tooth at the end of the day in their normal good state. Um, they'll do it, but they won't do it if you're, if you're doing all the other things and not resolving the issues. Well, if your clean's not good enough, you've got evidence that you're not taking care of your teeth, you the diet, you're getting decay and things like that. So those things all need to be resolved as well. You don't have to be happy to refer you uh, and I'll have to refer patients, but try to resolve those issues first. People drink a lot of alcohol, uh, um, uh, people are alcoholics and things like that. They drink a lot of you know, uh, wine and uh, things like that and spirits that can be quite acidic and cause problems as well. So just to be aware, just wanted you to give, go over that so you can understand um, about those things. The other obviously way people lose their teeth, they, um, they can have a trauma, like smash their teeth, have a fall, break their teeth, have a be assaulted or road traffic accident and teeth can be smashed and ruined like that way. Um, if they do martial arts or um, things like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Judo, those kind of things or any kind of boxing, get a gum shield, get a gum shield, just get a gum shield and even wear it when you're doing pad work. Because if someone slips off a pad and hits you, you've had it. 
teeth, get a gum shield, get a decent one made up, get one good quality one from one of these sports directors will get your dentist to make you one. Um, and also um, by, um, and the other way is um, they actually, <clears throat> you know, um, fall and, and knock their teeth out or get assaulted, get the teeth punched up. There's many people lose their teeth, happen to patients of mine where people had their, you know, teeth, they've been attacked, alleged assaults, we have to say alleged assaults, and they've been had their teeth knocked out or the teeth snapped, they've fallen, they've broken their teeth. Um, you know, they've knocked their teeth together, they've been doing some kind of boxing or something like that, and then their teeth are broken as well. That's another way. So um, just be aware of all these things, just protect your teeth because your teeth once they've gone, they're gone, and that's it. And if they're gone, it's hard to, replacements are never gonna be as good as the your teeth in the natural state. Okay, so that's the video, a bit of a longer one today, is it longer? Anyway, um, if you've got any questions or queries, let me know, and uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, take care, bye-bye.